Hello and welcome to the Inside Stylist podcast where we talk all about interiors with interviews with interior stylists, writers and the fabulous homeware brands that make a house a home. I also catch up with industry experts in the know and get them to share all their knowledge and advice. There's so much to talk about. I'm your host Emma Morton Turner, an interior stylist and writer with a ton of experience. I set up InsideStylist.com so I can share all that interiors love with you. So don't forget to head on over to the website for not only the show notes from today's episode, but regular interior blog posts and a whole host of inspiration on the interior stylists and writers profiles. But for now, enjoy the show. Today's episode is called 10 Reasons Why Events Are a Really Good Idea. And I'm sure you go to events. I'm sure you've been to some and maybe even have some lined up. But I'll tell you why I think that they are a good from a perspective of someone who runs events but also I attend them too and I've got so much out of them. Um, I've been running events for Inside Stylists and the Stylish Supper Club for a year now and they've been so beneficial and so enjoyable on so many levels so I thought today would be a really good day to share why I think they're good. So there are so many events out there now that it's hard to know which ones to go to and why they're essential for building your own interior brand, whether you're a stylist or a writer or a designer or an assistant. The episode is going to be all about why they're good and why they propel you forward in your career and how I've used them to create a really great work-life environment, if there is such a thing. I'm not going to use the word balance because I don't know if there is such a thing as balance. But anyway, so 10 reasons why events are a really good idea. Number one, And probably one of the biggest reasons, number one and number 10 are I think the biggest. Number one is you meet up in real life. And I just love that. I really love it. Whether it's like experts or celebrities or people you've been following on Instagram and you feel like you know them, nothing beats meeting up face to face and feeling like you've known each other for years. Meeting in real life only builds stronger relationships and makes online friends into real life friends and sometimes business partners. I've definitely got work from running events and even teamed up with interior stylist Emma Murray, who you probably know from the Stylish Supper Club events that we hold. And it is so much more fun doing events with someone else who's on your wavelength. I've been racking my brains when Emma and I met and I'm pretty sure it was at events. Number two, network and meet like-minded people. Working alone from home can feel very isolating at times and as if you're the only one doing what you're doing. But you're not. It's good to know that you are not alone. And there are other people out there experiencing exactly the same challenges as you. And they may even have a clever solution. So when you go to events, you meet them, you chat about things, you probably share things you might not have anyone else in your little circle of family and friends that would really understand it. And the people you meet at these events might be able to help you with a work problem. A work problem shared is a challenge solved. Or is that just me that says that? On a side note, it's a really good idea if you're going to an event to check if they've got a hashtag because it's really easy to find fellow people. It's really easy to find people who are going to be there. And if you're planning on going to an event alone, because there's all sorts of conferences and we've had people come to the Stylish Supper Club brunch that we ran in June that hadn't met anybody. So it's good if you can find that hashtag, see who's going and then chat online. And then when you go to the event, you've got someone to meet up with and, and aim for and not feel alone. It's all about not feeling alone. Number three, learn. You always get to learn something new, whether that's tricks of the trade or tips or processes that benefit your career and you meet new contacts and simply a better way to work. I've learned so much stuff from panel discussions, from workshops. They're really useful when you have experts to ask. And I've learned all about social media at some of the events I've been to. One of the events I held, I learned so much from the other panellists, um, the, the one I did back in January at West Elm. There was so much to talk about and so much to learn. And I'm not saying that I've perfected what I learned or that I'm taking action on it, but I know what I need to do and that's because of what people were saying at those events. Number four, you get inspired. You get so inspired. It could be other people in your industry sharing great ways that they work or a Pinterest expert sharing an app or a way to use a certain website 
or a system, but it's all inspiring stuff. You hear how other people do something well and you think I can do that now because they've shared their tricks and tips. Sometimes you just need to step away from work to be inspired to do the actual work. Number five, location. We're an interested lot when it comes to interiors, so we're always on the lookout for the next big thing in locations. Whether that's Hello Darling, where we held our last event and it had just the most incredible setting, or it might be a really cool restaurant that does amazing food and has the most fabulous decor or the reputation of its menu. We all want to check it out and see what it's like, so it's really good to be able to do that in a work environment where you just win all from all angles. Number six. You get to invest in yourself. This is something I think people don't do enough of. As a freelancer, you kind of are just churning the work out, looking for more work, doing the work. And sometimes it's easy to get wrapped up in that and not stop and think, I need to invest in myself. Now, there's a rule of thumb that you should spend 10% of your salary per month on improving yourself. So that could be buying books or a reward day at the spa after focus planning Or it could be a networking event or a conference where you meet people who propel you up. It's all worth it. But that 10% is the basic guideline. So are you doing that? Are you putting 10% into yourself? It could be an online course. It could be anything. But events are a really good way of investing in yourself and in your career. Number seven, contact swapping. This is where events really come into their own. You could be looking for a new photographer or a seamstress to make curtains or a set builder, a decorator or a PR contact and a stylist or designer can put you in touch. Contacts are also more likely to be authentic and tried and tested because no one is going to recommend a a trade or a brand if they think the person they're sharing it with will be let down. You would feel let down by that person, not by the tradesman. So the contacts you make are trusted. Number eight, you get to experiment with new ideas. There are so many times I've heard something along the lines of, I have this idea to do this thing, what do you think? And you can run your idea by people who really, really get what you're talking about. Because we're often at these events with people who will, one, understand what we're talking about in detail, and two, give us a clear idea whether our plan is worth pursuing or not. And I mean, I've run ideas past my husband, but he really isn't in the industry and he doesn't understand it. And I mean, living with me and listening to me, he's still never going to get it like someone else who has worked it. And you get a really good idea of whether it's a goer or not, whether you should put the time and effort in or not. Also, maybe you get inspired with an idea after a conversation you've had with someone. I I literally turned around to Emma Murray at the event in January and said, we need to do something together. And then Emma came up with a brilliant idea. It was just that sparking the we can bring interior designers and stylists together. And then it just went from there. So it's kind of quite good to think of these new ideas can just come up from out of nowhere. Number nine, you plan for other events. So it's often that these kind of functions that you hear about industry events, often there's a click when you meet someone and they're on your level and you just want to go to the next event with them. So the whole, are you going to focus 100% design, decorex, etc. is kind of, um, it's kind of often overheard. Someone is saying, oh, do you know about X, Y, Z? And then you get a little group of people arranging to meet up at these events so that they don't have to walk around on their own, which is really lovely. So if you haven't heard of the next event, the chances are you'll either be invited by one of your new best mates or you'll Google it and find it yourself and get on the list. But either way, you're going to hear about new events, new interiors, vibes that are going on. Number 10, events are fun. And whether I'm running an event or attending one, they are always fun, massively stressful and a hell of a lot of hard work, but always fun there is always such a buzzy atmosphere and everyone's always smiling and happy and keen to meet everybody else in the room and and because everyone's going for the same reason the outcome is always the same we like to chat and have fun and the events are always over too soon there's always a q a at the end and we always run out of of time to do those sorts of sides of things the, the whole chatting afterwards so 
Um, I've had quite a few people giving me feedback when they join Inside Stylists the website. I asked them what, what it is they are hoping to get out of the um, membership. And nine times out of ten, they'll come back and say, oh, I really want to meet up with other stylists or other assistants and just have other people to chat with. Because working alone, it's just nice to have that work chat feeling. I'm going to tell you about a couple of events that are coming up. So the Inside Stylists um, website is going to be having a Christmas drinks so stay tuned for that. I'm currently looking for a venue that can hold enough people. Um, it's going to be open to the members first and then everyone else afterwards so keep your ears peeled for that. And Emma and I are doing another Stylish Supper Club supper club this time which is on the 24th of September and we're really excited about this one because it's kind of a step up from the last one we're doing it at Halcyon Interiors which is a really stunning kitchen showroom on Wigmore Street and it's just got the most amazing innovative kitchens in there but we've got Shola Kitchen is coming and um, they're going to be doing our food for the supper club and um, Ada the lovely lovely lady behind Shola Kitchens has just been nominated for an award so we're really excited to have got her and um, oh, her kitchen if you just go check her out on Instagram Shola Kitchen she just makes the most stunning food it looks so beautiful can't wait And we're going to do lots of chatting, we're going to talk about trends, we're going to talk about um, all sorts of different interiors events. There's going to be so much chatting going on and a lot, I mean last time everyone was saying that it was really great to to talk to like-minded people. So there's going to be a lot of that going on. So if anyone is interested in getting a ticket, the link is in the show notes or you'll find it on Inside Stylists over on instagram or on the website you'll find everything also we've just i've just had um lovely larry my web developer has just created an events um header on the website so it's really easy to find so the public events are there so you can just find it and link through there so it's easy to find everywhere and if you can't just message me and i'll show you where to get the tickets from so um we've got quite a few sold already so really starting to gear up for that event which is happening in a couple of weeks Anyway, that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed this episode and I hope you go to events, whether it's one of my events or someone else's. I really hope you get out and meet like-minded people in the industry because it's just we're stronger together as a community and to be able to support each other and help each other is just one of the, well, for me, it's a really great pleasure. I really do enjoy bringing people together, helping people solve problems. Everyone could just help each other. It's all all really good anyway until next time bye for now thanks for listening to the inside stylist podcast you'll find all the details from today's show over on the show notes at insidestylist.com if you enjoy the show i'd love it if you would head on over to itunes and rate and review it it's the best way to help other people find the show and i'd really appreciate it until next time bye for now